Uh, my name is uh, Maxime Chambroy. I've been uh, working for Savoir Faire Linux for uh, almost 10 years now, and I'm now the uh, Open ERP uh, practice uh, leader. Uh, what I'm going to do today is basically uh, present you with the uh, uh, localization that we made of Open ERP for, uh, for Canada. And so here you have uh, my uh, contact uh, information. So the agenda for today is uh, basically a demonstration of all the uh, modules that we've made uh, to uh, localize and, and prepare OpenERP to be used by a uh, Canadian uh, organization. So uh, we'll go through the uh, uh, provinces and territories, the uh, chart of accounts, and the uh, federal and provincial taxes. Uh, fiscal positions. Uh, one of the latest module is the uh, check writing with the uh, Canadian format. And uh, we've done some work. Uh, it's uh, not very ready for production, but it's uh, a good prototype. So we make a module for the uh, uh, Canadian payroll. And so I'll finish with uh, how to uh, implement Open ERP and how to uh, contribute to the uh, localization. Uh, so just to uh, give you here a, a few hints on how to find and where to find the uh, module and their name. So uh, you have the, the name and the uh, projects. And so most of the uh, localization is, is in the uh, Open ERP Canada project on Launchpad. And uh, we'll come back on this uh, uh, at the end of the, this presentation. And the uh, uh, accounting module is in the uh, official branch of uh, OpenERP. So let's switch to the uh, demonstration. So here I have my instance of OpenERP, so I'm just going to log in as an administrator. And uh, show you all the uh, module that I've been talking to previously. So if you search for Canada here, so I have installed the uh, Canadian localization for the accounting, uh, the check writing module, payroll, uh, and uh, provinces and territories here. And with, uh, so we have few modules um, structured by, uh, by provinces. And uh, we'll come back on this uh, later in this uh, presentation. So let's first start with the uh, provinces. So basically, by installing the module, you get uh, in the um, address book, you got, uh, you're got. you allowed to, uh, to create uh, and use the, uh, if I select here, Canada, I have the uh, a list of uh, Canadian states here, so uh, Ontario, Quebec, so they're all here available as well as the uh, uh, territories. Uh, regarding the uh, accounting, so the way a module is structured within OpenERP is basically provide a template that you can find here in accounting configuration account templates. So templates give you a list of accounts and and taxes. And so when you, when you install the module, there is no chart, there is no chart of account installed. You basically go to the accounting uh, configuration page uh, to choose which template you want to install. So at this point, the uh, Canadian uh, has two uh, uh, 
two different templates, one in French, one in English. So I have already cho chosen my uh, my template here, but otherwise it would be displayed here on, on the top. You define your uh, currency here as well and uh, your default uh, taxes. So let's take the example of uh, Quebec. So here I'm just choosing the uh, right taxes for uh, uh, sales and purchase. Save it. So once you choose, once you chose your templates, uh, so the uh, account list of account is uh, populated here. So uh, with the right uh, data for for the internal use of OpenERP, so you have uh, liquidity uh, for your cash and bank account. Uh, and uh, basically, the uh, the uh, list of accounts provide the uh, structure. Few accounts that are used within the application for for account receivable, for taxes, uh, or for also uh, payroll. But you are free to uh, uh, to add yours and customize the uh, the uh, the chart of account. Uh, it's a very basic one, and just to uh, check. Uh, the structure, you can generate the uh, chart here. So this is basically uh, the, uh, the version, the, uh, the chart of account that's going to be provided by default. Uh, in addition to uh, to the chart, the uh, accounting module provides the uh, tax definition. So we have uh, all the taxes here, uh, and uh, each taxes has uh, his own um, percentage. And uh, if I take, for example, uh, a complex one like uh, QST here. So the way it works is it, a tax is specific to a, an application, so it's either sales or purchase, so that's why everything is uh, duplicated here. And uh, you have uh, for uh, QST, so you define the GST as a first uh, step here, sub-taxes or children. And you define here uh, all the um, account in the in the chart of account and the uh, code for the uh, chart of taxes here for your tax declaration uh, so the and uh, also the uh, percentage here uh, so one thing that it's very important is the uh, if I come back here is what you have in here, uh, and, and if the tax is included in price, which is not the case, uh, if it's a tax on children, so this is uh, what we uh, will be using to have uh, the right computation here. So uh, here the uh, QST is pretty much the same configuration with a different uh, percentage and. Uh, different uh, tax account and uh, code. And so this allows you to have on uh, uh, on an invoice the uh, right amount for, for taxes and, uh, and uh, the right uh, allocation within the uh, chart of account. So once you define all those taxes and use it as a and use yours as a default for for your product configuration. Then, in some cases, you uh, will need to uh, change the tax. Uh, for example, if you are selling to uh, foreign uh, provinces, then you will be using the uh, fiscal position here. So, the fiscal position is really a mechanism for you to uh, switch uh, taxes based on. Uh, the customer or the uh, on a customer level or on the uh, sales order or purchase order level. 
And so basically, if you are selling to your own provinces, there is no uh, replacement for your tax or your account. If you are selling to uh, BC, for example, and you are not in BC, well, your default taxes that should be among uh, among the, the this list here will be replaced by the uh, HST in uh, at uh, 12 percent. And you can also switch the uh, different the uh, default uh, account expense account with the with the uh, with the other if you want to separate your income or expenses in, in your chart of account by uh, provinces. So the, uh, the fiscal position can be chosen uh, on the, uh, as I said, on the uh, customer level here. If I go to uh, yeah, it's here on the, in the accounting tab. So you have here the list of fiscal position available, so you can choose. And every time you will buy or purchase uh, from this supplier or to this customer, then you will be uh, uh, switching uh, all the uh, default task ta tax set on the product by, uh, by the one de defined in the uh, fiscal position. So one of the uh, so let's maybe take an example here. So if I create a, a sales uh, an invoice for a customer, and let's see what is the configuration for this customer. So there is no fiscal position, so it's going to take the uh, default tax. QS, uh, GST, QST. And so if I add a line here, so I choose my tax here. And if I save and validate my invoice, uh, on the order info here, I have the uh, taxes that I've set on the uh, child taxes that I set on the uh, GST QST. Uh, so next. Uh, is the uh, check printing. So it's uh, a new module that we install. And uh, we provided two different uh, formats. Uh, so if we ch check on the, uh, at the uh, company level here, uh, you can define uh, where you want to print, wh which format you want to use for your default uh, layout. So check on top, CA, or check in the middle. Then you need to go to uh, your bank journal and check the uh, printing check uh, to allow check writing here. So now, when I go to uh, create, I check. So um, here I choose the uh, supplier. So I have a couple of voices here. Let's say it's. Uh, One thousand two hundred and thirty-four dollars and fifty fifty uh, yeah, fifty-six cents. So the uh, 
issue we have here is the amount in letter that's going to be printed on the check is updated when you uh, uh, change the uh, total here. So, for example, if uh, you change uh, the language of, uh, of the supplier, then they won't be reflected in the, uh, in the amount in letters, for example. So what I do here is uh, save, and uh, if I go here, I can print my check. I'm just going to share this. So here I have my uh, my check uh, printed with the uh, Canadian format. I have an issue with the uh, comma. Again, so I change the uh, total here. If I go back and print. Uh, so last uh, point here is the uh, payroll. So what we did basically is uh, create the uh, uh, pay, uh, pay slip rules. And first, so first we have uh, the uh, salary structure. So we have the uh, base one provided by. Uh, the uh, open ERP module. Uh, so the uh, Canadian one and the uh, Quebec one provided by the uh, uh, HR payroll uh, for, for Quebec. So for the base here, you have the list of, uh, of salary rules. And uh, it's, uh, it's really a prototype at this point. So uh, we just made this module to be familiar with the with the payroll engine, but uh, I uh, still strongly recommend to uh, to uh, outsource uh, your payroll right now. Uh, but the idea is uh, you can generate uh, the employee uh, pay slip here uh, based on his uh, contract, and so you have uh, all the uh, computation of uh, of the role, and you can print the uh, employee uh, payslip. So, and with the uh, Payroll accounting module, basically, when you validate the um, uh, uh, payslip, the uh, accounting entries is uh, created in the uh, child of account. So that's why the uh, child provides all the uh, payroll uh, accounts uh, for this. Uh, so. So that's the name of uh, of the module and where you can find them. And so, if you decide to uh, to go ahead and uh, implement the uh, Canadian uh, 
accounting and localization in OpenERP. So we uh, uh, we have a training, a functional training scheduled on July fifteenth uh, in uh, in Montreal. So you're more than ha welcome to uh, to register on the on open, openerp.com slash events, and you can also contact me. So you have all my uh, contact details here. Uh, 514-276-5468, extension 1, my email address. And if you want to uh, contribute and uh, join us, so uh, we have an OpenERP Canada team on Launchpad, and so you are more than welcome to, uh, to join, uh, report bugs, uh, propose new features. So we uh, use the... Uh, and blueprints for this, and we started the uh, English Canadian and French Canadian uh, uh, translation. So there's uh, very few there's very few terms to uh, to translate because each language is based on the either English or French one. So it's very it's only the uh, specific to uh, to uh, to E E N C A or F R C A. And if you have made module that uh, could be interesting for others, uh, other company in Canada, then, then you're uh, more than welcome to uh, share your your module uh, and publish your code on the on Launchpad. Uh, 